Okay, so I'm making this uh, video here on my uh, Commander HF2500. So we installed back the uh, plate transformer. We uh, put the four lamp lights for the uh, the meter. So we're going to be turning that out, the amplifier on uh, pretty soon. We cleaned out the blower. It was very dirty in this whole compartment here on this side. We cleaned it up. So as you can see, everything looks nice and clean. Nice and clean now, the way it's supposed to be. And the blower has been cleaned out too. Taken apart and cleaned out, and uh, we also put a little, we, a little bit of oil there. Then over here on this side, <clears throat> we cleaned up on this side too. Band switch, the air variable capacitors, the tune, and the uh, plate. And um, tune and load. I'm sorry, tune and load. Uh, here's your tank coil. Here's your two iMac. 3CX 800A7s, those have been cleaned out too, sockets have been cleaned out, and we wound, wound uh, it up a new plate choke, because the plate choke, the wire that was here originally, which I think it was a 26 gauge, uh, art, and it burnt out, so we uh, winded it up back again, at 127.0 UH, because that's what I had before, and as you can see, I did a very good job. Damn, very good job. Damn, good job. So the next thing we're going to be doing with the HF uh, 2500 is that uh, the high voltage meter is not reading properly. It's reading about 18, 1900 volts on plate. That's because I'm going to have to disassemble all this. In the next uh, week or so, there's three resistors. There's uh, there are one mega ohm, uh, two watt resistors in parallel. That uh, they must be out of uh, out of resistance. I mean, they're not marking properly, and this is why this is not marking. So that's the next project that we'll be doing, and then uh, that that'll be the last because everything else over here is being done. So there you go, nice and clean, Commander 2500. Man, that plate choke looks good. Tools were cleaned out, the sockets were cleaned out. Much, much better. So, all right, gotta go. Commander 2500.